Last week, there was a major update to the Mini 3 Pro, but the Mini 3 also got a few extras too. Not least, the ability to now shoot 48 megapixel stills. So, very quick video today on updating your Mini 3 and what the new features are. Hello, I'm Ian and I play with drones. And as I said, Mini 3 got a few extras last week through a new firmware update, including a new feature to take 48 megapixel stills. Now, I think this is a really good addition and it does make sense. Remember the sensor on the Mini 3 is exactly the same as the Mini 3 Pro. So it was always capable of this, it was just not enabled. So first off, let me just very quickly run through how to update your Mini 3. Uh, the firmware update should actually appear automatically on the RC home screen for you to click. But you can manually check for an update by switching the drone on as well. And in camera mode, tap the three dots top right, then head across to about, scroll down to the blue text check for updates to manually check for an update. Uh, obviously you've got to have the RC remote Wi-Fi switched on because you have got to be connected to the internet. It'll either say your firmware is up to date or it will offer you an update. As of today, uh, the Mini 3 firmware should be on uh, 01.00.02.00. So let the update download and install itself. It can take a good 10 to 15 minutes. Um, you do need a good internet connection. It's not a huge update. Uh, it's only about uh, 50 megabytes but you probably want to do this before you head out into the field. As I said, you need good internet connection and you don't want to waste your batteries whilst you're just doing a firmware update. But that's how you get your firmware updated. Um, what do you actually get? Well, first off, if you look down at the bottom of the About tab, you're going to see two new options from this update. Reset all settings and clear all data. These are two different but very handy uh, features. Reset all settings simply resets all of your uh, camera settings and your safety settings back to their original values, undoing any adjustments that you may have made to the drone's control and camera settings. It's a good way to reset everything and start from scratch if you want to start setting it all up again. Clear all data is a bit more like a factory reset, which you probably only do when you're going to sell the drone. In truth, it's going to clear all user data, it'll raise all the flight logs, your account, it'll completely wipe the drone. So as said, probably you're only going to use um, clear all data when you come to sell your drone. And then finally, if we go to the main camera uh, screen, tap the camera mode button just above the shutter button over on the right and switch to photo mode. Scroll down and at the bottom you will now see the new 48 megapixel still option. Now, I have mentioned this before, the sensor that you get on the Mini 3 and the Mini 3 Pro is actually a native 12 megapixel sensor with a quad Bayer uh, overlay sensor which allows it to generate these 48 megapixel uh, stills by capturing multiple colours per pixel. It's very, very clever technology and they generally do a very, very good job at generating a picture that is better and clearer and sharper than a standard 12 megapixel still. It's um, not all peaches and cream. Take a look at these two shots I took earlier today. Um, I'm not actually ever a fan of pixel peeping, but you know, um, it, it sometimes serves a purpose. If you zoom in on the standard picture, you can definitely see the pylon is clear on the 48 megapixel file compared to the 12 megapixel file. Now these first two were shot in auto mode with auto white balance and the same with this second set. You can definitely see a blue tinge on the 48 megapixel still but I'm actually wondering whether or not it's due to the different amount of sky in the picture affecting the auto white balance and the exposure. But take a look at this third set of stills where again obviously I'm heavily zoomed in but crucially these were taken in pro mode with exactly the same ISO uh, exposure and white balance and here you can see far more similarity with the colour and of course you can also see far greater clarity of the pylon itself and the trees in the fields all around. For, to me the 48 megapixel uh, picture is far clearer than the 12 megapixel still. So for me, this new feature, certainly a very welcome addition to the Mini 3 and you will definitely be able to get uh, more decent pictures with it. Um, you can choose whether or not you're going to shoot in JPEG or RAW in the new 48 megapixel um, mode too. Be warned though, a RAW 48 megapixel file is uh, quite chunky. Uh, it's knocking on the door of 100 megabytes. Uh, but it is, I think, fantastic. They've given you uh, the choice so you can set it to whatever you actually want. 
So look, there you go. Short video, but great to be getting the most out of the Mini 3, especially given, as I said, that it has pretty much got the same camera as its bigger sibling, the Mini 3 Pro. So as ever, give me a little thumbs up if you uh, want. And until next time, wherever in the world you are, whatever you do, have fun, happy flying.